It's been a month since the start of the new school term and classes are yet to resume at the Malik Secondary School. Back in August of this year, part of the school was burned due to electrical problems. And since then, over 600 students and their parents have been sitting and waiting. But on Tuesday, frustrated parents had enough and began their protests outside the gates of the school and then to the education ministry. But even as the protested officials of the education ministry was at the school conducting inspections along with TN Tech. Tired of promises and no action, parents demanded a meeting with the education minister, but was told he was unavailable. They threatened to bring their children to the ministry and conduct classes. Malik Secondary School will be having school here tomorrow, right here, if we don't see the minister today. Some parents are even questioning if the situation would have been rectified sooner had Malik Secondary been a prestige school. If it was this school right next door to us, right next door to the ministry there, they would have moved with the situation. We are not presentation college, we are not St. Anthony's, we are in CIC, neither St. Mary's. We are Malik Secondary School and we have the same right as any other children in Trinidad and Tobago to let our children get a proper education. Saying that no one was taking their concerns seriously, the parents took their protest to the office of the Prime Minister, where they called for her intervention. They did not meet with the Prime Minister, though, instead a representative. Officials of the Education Ministry say that all is being put in place to deal with the issues at Malik Secondary School. I am Otto Carrington, reporting for CNC3 News. And following a day of protests from the Malik Secondary School in Mofa to the Ministry of Education and then to the Prime Minister's office, the Ministry of Education now says that all repairs with respect to the recent fire have been completed by the Education Facilities Company Limited, as well as the standby generator they are saying has been removed and that the electrical connection of the entire compound has been completed by TN Tech. However, following today's meeting with senior officials of the Ministry and the school principal, we're told that additional demands have been made by teachers which were not part of the original scope of work requested by the principal and it's now been agreed that students will be temporarily relocated to the building formerly housing the Arangues North Secondary School from next Monday, that's October 8th.